Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Ravi Shankar, who is the Chief Marketing Officer of Donodo. Donodo is a company that specializes in data virtualization and provides data access, governance, and delivery capabilities to its customers. So welcome to the jam, Ravi. Thank you, Nick. Good to be here. Awesome. So to start off, could you just give me a brief overview of Donodo and the solutions you provide? Sure. Donodo is a data integration and a data management company. So we have been around for the last 20 years. We are a global company. Uh, we have offices in about uh, 18 different countries. And uh, we have um, you know, hundreds of customers across the world and uh, across about like 30 plus different industries. And the key problem that we solve is our customers are basically uh, over a billion dollars in revenue, very large global uh, 500 customers. And uh, as a, because of the complexity of the business, they have their data kind of spread across multiple different uh, departments. And we basically help integrate the data together and deliver it to the business users. Now, data integration has many different approaches. We approach it from a perspective called data virtualization. So data virtualization is a real-time data integration without having to store the data in an intermediate repository. So it is very quick in delivering the data to the business users. And as a result, many of our customers prefer that and uh, the ability to also integrate structured with unstructured, whether it is cloud on-premises and for the business users to use. So that's basically what Denoda does. Right, yeah. Um, and you briefly just went over how data virtualization, virtualization works, but could you just um, kind of explain in a bit more detail of how exactly it works and um, how it differs to other big data solutions. Sure. So first of all, in, in the current circumstances, you had to think about like the data being very disparate across multiple different sources and the types of data actually differ. So, you know, in we talk about like the variety of the data, the data could be unstructured, it could be structured, it could be semi-structured somewhere in between. And the second one is the velocity, the speed at which it comes. So sometimes data is kind of you know, is resident. So it is like what we call as data at rest. In other cases lately, like streaming data, which is like really fast. Okay, so that's the second one. And the other one is like in terms of the, uh, the location. So right now, a lot of the data is on, on premises, but most of the data is actually getting onto the cloud these days. So the data could be anywhere else. So if you look at it from a business user's perspective, they have to worry about, okay, I need to get the data from the cloud. I need to get the data from on-premises. And when I bring the data in, the data doesn't mash up together. They are pretty disparate in terms of the format. So I need to kind of unify them from a format perspective. So there are a lot of challenges that they actually face. What Denodo does or is like have a data virtualization layer. Think about it as a, like what we call as a logical data fabric. So it knits together the data across multiple different systems, creates a unified uh, view of the data and provides the data to the business users. So business users just have like one place to go and ask for the data without having to worry about where the data is actually coming from. We present the data in a normalized format, which means it's a, uh, in a format that is readily consumable by the business users. They don't have to worry about it. And the data is real time. So we do not actually store the data in between. When the business users request the data, we actually go down to the sources and fetch the data. So the data is as fresh as it can be. So with that, we are able to deliver the data in real time um, in a much more um, uh, format that is actually can be used with the business users. The benefit of this approach, uh, Nick, is that it basically separates the business from the IT. The business users really don't care where the data comes from. And the, but the IT has the, um, the charter to actually evolve the data and modernize their infrastructure. So the IT can proceed with that migrating from on-premises to the cloud, but as the business users can actually proceed um, without the hindrance of this change basically taking place. So that's basically what Denodo and, Denodo and data virtualization does. Right, yeah. And um, we focus quite heavily on the ANZ region. So could you tell me what sort of companies are currently using data virtualization in this region and what business challenges it's solving? Sure. So we have, again, a varied uh, set of uh, customers, such as RMIT, we have in you know, a silver chain. So 
in the education space, in the healthcare space. We also have in the mining space companies that are actually using our product. And in in uh, in if you look at their challenges, so for example, from the higher education perspective, they are trying to make effective decisions, um, especially these days uh, with the uh, coronavirus being hit, they are actually looking at how they can actually um, make quick decisions about you know, whether to reopen the schools, for example, and what kind of courses they need to offer online, which ones should be in a hybrid format. They need to be able to make these decisions. They need to be able to track this, the students in terms of like you know, going from joining the college to the courses that they take and ultimately where they kind of lead after the, uh, they graduate from the university. So all these required universal data that comes from the admission system that require from um, like the faculty system. So all these systems where the data needs to come together and the university administrators need to view that information. Uh, to make proper decisions. So, which is what we enable. We enable that single view of the students, the faculty, and make that available to the um, administrators that can actually benefit from it. In the healthcare space, they actually use it to understand at the point of care, um, the, the history of a particular uh, a patient. So those records could be distributed across um, like, for example, in a clinic, if they visited the clinic, it could be in a clinical system. Uh, if they went into the ER, it could be in an ER system. Um, they could have you know, undergone some tests, which could be in a completely different system in the laboratory systems. And uh, they could have you know, uh, procured uh, medications, which could be in a, a dispensing system. So to have a single view profile of the patient um, and to be able to administer the care at that particular point, they actually um, be deliver the data, unified data, and then provide it to, uh, whether it's a physician or a healthcare worker uh, at the point of care to be able to see that unified view. And in terms of the mining uh, ones where we have the customers, you know, might have some machines that are sitting inside some of the larger uh, areas where they actually have to you know, transmit information about, from the machines uh, about which parts need to be replaced or uh, need to be serviced. We're able to gather that information integrated with other information about where the, the machine is, who owns it, whether it's leased and so on, and provide that information to the business users who can make predictive capabilities of, okay, so we need to service this machine like three months ahead of time, or we need to process some, uh, buy some spare parts and so on. So that actually enables them to run their business without hindrance. So those are the ways we actually enable our customers. Right, yeah. And can you tell me a bit about Denota's presence in the ANZ region? So um, how long have you been here and do you have a channel presence and your office locations, that sort of thing? Sure. So we have been addressing the ANZ region indirectly for many years now. So we have heard early on some of the government customers and so on, which we have addressed through the partners. But having seen the demand, we actually opened our own direct offices uh, it's been about about three plus years, I would actually say. So we have quite a few um, sales and marketing people uh, in in the uh, ANC region, and that has actually continued to grow for us. And uh, so we started, you know, first in Australia. Now we have kind of expanded to New Zealand, and uh, so we have actually invested a lot of money uh, in terms of our promotion and marketing aspects. So we have actually invested very heavily, and we are seeing some good. Um, response for that in the ANZ region. Awesome. And for a company wanting to find out more about Denodo, what's the best way to get in touch? Um, is to go to our website, so denodo.com. And we have all the information that you need in the uh, on the website. So you can learn about the, the market itself, the, what the data virtualization technology does. You can learn about uh, the Denodo platform, which is our product and how it enables. You can see about the customers and we have some of the customers from the ANZ also in there, the use cases. Um, we have partners who actually work with us even in those regions who can help. Yeah, we are a software provider, but in terms of implementing it and enabling it for you as a customer, there are partners who are involved in it. And so that's the one-stop shop for you to go and find all the information. Awesome. Cool. Well, that concludes today's 10 minute IT jam with Denoto Chief Marketing Officer Ravi Shankar. Thank you so much for joining me today, Ravi. Thank you, Nick. It was nice talking to you.